Hello everyone, a video here of Belgrade Airport. Now, there are a lot of rumours going around, but what this video shows is Russian air defences launching with two blasts on the ground. Now, one source said that this was a failed SAM launch causing a blast on the ground, but as there are two blasts, this seems unlikely. One SAM failing and landing back on the launcher? Possible. Two, that is too much of a coincidence for me. But then, some of the buzz online is saying this, that it is AGM-88 hitting SAM launchers around Sevastopol Harbour, which is a big deal. This would, I believe, be the first confirmed AGM-88 harm used on Russian territory. Now, in the video, we do see missile contrails in the air, so this could be that the launcher managed to launch its missiles before AGM-88 hit the target. Or... Other nearby SAM systems engaged other missiles in the area. One source, a Russian Twitter account, so take it with a shovel of salt, says that 8 to 10 were intercepted, with 2 getting through. Given Russia's success rate, or lack thereof of intercepting missiles, that number does seem unlikely. Ukraine usually launches AGM-88 in pairs, 2 missiles to an aircraft. So for 12 to be launched... That will require 6 aircraft, 6 MiG-29s or Su-27s. But regardless of how many were launched and how many intercepted, it is very interesting to see AGM-88 confirmed as being used in an offensive capacity against Belgorod. So this occurred here, the nearest SAM of the video, located at the marker. This is on the southern end of the airport. Zoomed out and switched into the normal map view, we can see it's 40 kilometers from the border. AGM-88 has a 150 kilometer range. So Ukraine doesn't need to get close to typical Russian SAM range to fire these. It can fire these from a relatively safe point. Now, a big thank you to some patrons. Big thanks to Bruce, Eric, BW, Stefan, Warren, Stephen, and Anna. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks very much. I will do an update on Belgorod if we get more information soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching and take care everybody.